Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Investigation. In today's episode of Investigation, we'll go over 2022 AMC 10B number 20. So in this problem, it states that ABCD be a rhombus with angle ADC equals 46 degrees. Let E be the midpoint of um, CD. So let's just try to draw the diagram real quick. A rhombus. So I will draw it like this, uh, such that these two sides are the same. A, B, C, D. Um, a, D, C is an acute angle, so I'll label it like this. A, B, C, D. So this angle is 46 degrees. And it says let E be a midpoint of C, D. So this is E. Um, let F be the point on B, E such that A, F is perpendicular to B. E. So B, E. And we want to draw a f such that a f is perpendicular to b and we want to find the angle measure of b f c which is this angle that i marked over here this angle okay so we want to find this angle over here hmm how can we find it more easily hmm let's think about it this angle well itself it's kind of hard to find um like there is no like information that we can use um, of any sort. Maybe we can try to see, okay, maybe if there are like similar angles in between um, these few areas that we can find. Um, if we know the angle of this, then of course we can uh, just do 180 minus that angle. So that angle will be helpful to us. Hmm. If we have that angle, th then we have to have something on the line of BE that has something to do with this 46 degrees. I know if you just have this kind of uh, length, if you just assume this is 2, or even like not assuming, this is say this is 2x, this is x, and then just use a lot of um, trigonometry, just use like law of sines, law of cosines, you can bash that out. But since AMC 10 itself really doesn't require trigonometry for you to solve every problem, I won't present that solution here. But um, if you're curious, you uh, need, can try that um, in the comment section below and tell me if you succeeded. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below as well. So I'll present a solution that does not use trigonometry. Okay, let's think. We need somehow uh, one of these angles to have a relationship to this angle over here, 46 degrees. Okay, so a natural thought, maybe, because I have this E here, this side is half of that side, and those two sides are, well, half of each other, and they're parallel because it is a rhombus, right? So maybe if we just extend this, to a point, let's call that point G, then this triangle will basically have a mid-segment of DE because it's parallel and it has uh, the length half of that much. So, um, okay. Now, we do have this right uh, triangle over here. How can we use this right triangle? We extended this and we know DE is our uh, mid-segment. So AD is uh, equal to GD. So this D point is actually the median of um, this, tri this big giant uh, right triangle. Let me mark this in green right here. This triangle over here uh, is a right triangle and it has uh, the median at point D. Cool, so how can we use that? If it has the median at point D then well, yeah, this this side is also equal to all of uh, both of these two sides. So if we just draw a circle uh, with D at the um, center and A uh, through the radius DA, then it will go through all of these points, F, C, and G. I know the circle may not be uh, that well, but because this is the radius R, this is the radius R, DE is, uh, DF is radius R, and DC is radius R because it's a rhombus, correct? So um, it will have a circle. And now it's easier to say, okay, 
Now, GFC, it is a, uh, this angle is, um, subtends this arc, which is also, if we draw a line here, is also angle GAC. So, what we can know here is angle GFC is equal to angle GAC. How do we find angle GAC? Well, that's um, simple, right? Because this side, DA, is equal to this side, DC. And so this uh, triangle, uh, DAC, triangle DAC is isosceles. Right? So triangle DAC is isosceles, which means that uh, what we have over here is we just say 180 degrees minus that 46 degrees and then divide by two. 180 degrees minus 46 degrees divide by two. Uh, we can calculate that. That's 134 degrees divided by two, or uh, that is 67 degrees. So if that is 67 degrees, then we know that angle GFC is also equal to 67 degrees because that's equal to angle GAC. So angle GAC is equal to uh, that much, which means that the angle we want to find, angle BFC, is 180 degrees minus this 67 degrees or 113 uh, degrees, which is our answer choice D. And that will conclude this problem. Uh, I think personally, this is a pretty nice problem. You can bash it out with trigonometry, but um, I really don't like that um, whole idea of bashing and uh, the whole idea of using trigonometry on a test. Well, you don't necessarily need it. But if um, you do know trigonometry, some of the problems, especially the geometric uh, geometry problems will be a lot easier. So um, if you have free time, just might as well learn that. Um, might be better than if you, you just keep doing the uh, problems from previous years of AMCs. Um, just a uh, quick advice. But if you don't have any questions, then I hope to see you in the next video. If you do, please put them in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point of the video, I'd like you to subscribe that you catch future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.